guys welcome back to the analog lecture series so so far we understood so many things like uh, when big circuits are given we can easily calculate the value of voltage gain input impedance output impedance whatever it is now i hope you all understood how easily we can calculate the voltage gain or whatever in ac circuits the only thing is you have to redraw in a proper way fix the correct position for the resistors just to draw the kvl and then apply nodal whatever just to simply mostly you may be requested to apply kvl nodal rare case when you are calculating the output impedance you are supposed to apply thevenant's that's how you can easily solve the questions and it's time to explore few more things basically i told you we are calculating all this uh, voltage gain current gain input impedance output impedance at a low frequency circuits so that is called low frequency analysis apart from that while doing high frequency analysis there are few more things yet to cover anyway as i already promised that i am not going to deliver any concepts like you how to learn this 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 nothing i am i am going to deliver here just directly from the problems if they are asking you to do these things things what to do that's all few more things are yet to cover apart from this uh, voltage gain calculation current gain calculation input output impedance calculation we have to calculate few more things that things also i will be covering here if you are learning something new if you are observing something new just make a note now if you observe this question given it is npn transistor under forward active mode collector current ic is clearly given just observe it collector current ic is 1 milliampere total emitter base uh, capacitance is given as ck they are treating it as total emitter to base capacitance is 12 picofarad now the base transistor time is given as 260 pico second pico means 10 power minus 12 okay now the question is what is the depletion what is the value of depletion capacitance of emitter base junction that is the question okay sir in order to know the answer for this question we have to know the complete capacitance that we are observing across the transistor this is called high frequency analysis in the high frequency analysis we will be dealing with this kind of capacitance calculations at all anyway so here let me bring you the relation first first of all between the emitter to base junction of course we are observing a capacitor that is not a single capacitor we will be observing two capacitor what are those one capacitor is called diffusion capacitor and another one is called depletion capacitor now this is the overall capacitance that we are observing across the base emitter junction they told that that overall capacitance value is 12 picofarad okay sir in place of ck i can substitute 12 picofarad now in order to know the value of depletion capacitance you must know the value of diffusion capacitance now what is the formula to calculate the value of diffusion capacitance the di diffusion capacitance can be calculated with the help of they have given transit time see there that transit time base transit time is given transit time you have to substitute just to keep the transit time into consider the value of collector current ic of course that is also given already uh, in the question divided by eta times of thermal voltage vt that's all now let us substitute all the values see there the value of eta that is identity factor that value is always equal to 1 suppose if it is directly given in the question take the value of eta equal to 2 or 3 and in that case you can consider basically that value is uh, meant for uh, uh, types of the material that we are using either it is silicon or germanium for silicon this value is 2 for germanium this value is 1 that is uh, scenario but the thing is by default in the analysis we are not considering that eta effect we are always treating that value is 1 until if it is given in the question consider take the value of eta equal to 2 in that case you can take otherwise keep this value is 1 always you know thermal voltage value is fixed in room temperature it is 26 millivolt 26 into 10 power minus 3 you can also consider it as 25 nothing is wrong but as i told you that you can either go with 25 or 26 you will be coming up with a approximately equivalent answer okay sir fine now this time also given transit time is given as 260 pico farad pico means 10 power minus 12 of course collector value is given in the question see there uh, the value of collector current is 1 milliampere substitute that value so if i will substitute 1 milli means 10 power minus 3 so this 10 power minus 3 10 power minus 3 will get cancelled out finally we will be having 260 upon 26 into 10 power minus 12 that's all so 10 times of 2, 26 will give you 260 so it will be 
10 10 power minus 12 once again will be considered as picofarad so we found the value of diffusion capacitance now from here how to calculate the value of depletion capacitance it is very easy so in order to know the value of depletion capacitance from this derivation let us write like this depletion capacitance can be written as overall capacitance minus diffusion capacitance by substituting the overall capacitance how much they have given 12 picofarad yes sir minus diffusion capacitance we have been explored that 10 picofarad by subtracting these two i can say that deflection capacitance value will become 2 picofarad that's all i hope you all understood how to calculate the value of this deflection capacitance easily okay this is all for this lecture remaining things you will see in the next class thank you all